<laughs> it's not very original, but it's definitely if you follow. Uh, that was uh, Conan Betts. Conan Betts, the the Dayton shooter. Conan Betts was in a porn grind metal band report. Oh boy, watch out, watch out, man. So that means he's a that means he's a Satanist too, right? So let's talk about this. Um, let's talk about this kid, right? He's a you know the Conan Conan Conor Betts is the Ohio shooter shot nine in Ohio. Let's find out more about the psychology of the killer. The psychology of the killer, because that's really what it's about. Do we want to blame the guns or do we want to blame the person? I choose to blame the person. And what brought him what brought him to this crossroads? Now let's let's just eliminate the music for a second, right? Now here's a guy, right? Now here's a guy that I think you, some of you guys kind of know and love that sang in a pornographic Grind band once upon a time. Okay, he looks familiar, right? Much, it doesn't get much rawer than that, right? It says 2000, November, November 2014. Barney Rubble and the Cunt Stubble tearing it up at the Delancey, right? So there I am, the lead singer of a pornographic, a pornographic grind band singing about dick and pussy, via, you know, craziness, man. Just, just, just adolescent, teenage, teenage desire, desire, testosterone run wild, right? So I just wanted to eliminate that, right? That doesn't, because then what you'll have is a censorship on music again. Haven't we gone through this already? That the music, it is a reflection of the person sometimes, you know, like I, I'm singing about, you know, Ziggy the Midget and his six foot prick. I'm singing about butt slut. I'm singing about we stick our dicks in retarded chicks, right? Now, I, I say it shamelessly because it's, it's, I'm in my 50s. That was when I was 22 years old, 23 years old, right? And it was fun. And I would do it again in a heartbeat. And I have no shame and no uh, regrets whatsoever for ever doing something like that. So let's just, let's just get past. Let's just get past that. The kid was in a band. It's not a great band. It's, it's reminiscent of the mentors. But, you know, you got to watch a cartoon. So, you're going to force us to watch a cartoon. So, it doesn't, it doesn't make you a bad person to sing about these uh, dick and pussy. What I want to say is that his band isn't that well. Uh, good. Menstrual Munchies. Men <laughs> Menstrual Munchies. It's not even funny, man. You should have named your band Bonnie Rubble and the Cunt Stubble. Uh, but, nonetheless, he, he, was, he was right up there with the men. They were, that's in the vein of the mentors. Gigi Allen. There's a whole slew of. Uh, it's a whole genre of music. Uh, for for in my view, I wanted to take it into comedy, where it would be comedy and the dark side of what profound or erotic side of sexuality. Uh, but nonetheless, it's expression. It's creative expression. So that let's go. Let's get past that. Right. So, the Twitter accounts of uh, Conan Betts suggested. We'll look at the psychology. Uh, Dayton shooter was Democrat supporting Satanist. <laughs> I want socialism, and I'll not wait for the idiots. Now again, gaslight America, right? What is socialism? If you asked him, he probably wouldn't know. And now you can't ask him because he's dead. A now deleted Twitter account that appears to belong to the Dayton shooter Conan Bet suggests that 24-year-old Democrat supporting gun-loving Satanist. All right, so there's the contradiction right there. How could you be a Democrat supporting gun lover? All right, so there's, again, the gun is, the, is the, the far right or the middle, the center, far center right, right, center right, whatever it is. Right? That's, that's what it is. 
It's not a left opinion. Most of the lefties say, take away everybody's gun. So is he a Satanist? Where, where's he Satan? Where's he, where's he promoting Satan? Because of the music? The music is Satanist? Come on. It follows other reports suggesting that Bates was known as a violent misogynist who was once a high school student, as a high school student compelled, compiled a list of girls to rape. Right, this is profound. It's just, you know, he's out there. Once in Ohio, uh, police in Ohio are still searching for a motive as to why Bates shot the, and killed nine people. I thought they already knew it was the gun, right? including his own sister. He injured 27 others at the Ned Pepper's bar on Sunday night. Bates died within a minute of starting his massacre, shot dead by armed officers who raced to the scene in Dayton's Oregon Historic District. I know, it might, may not have happened. That's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the psychology of someone who apparently did something heinous. He shot up the joint, right? Shot the joint up, killed nine people, including his sister, right? That's what happened, right? Let's just go, let's just move, move forward in the, in the vein of he did it. The anonymous Twitter account with the name uh, blah, blah, blah did not use Brett's name, but had posted selfies of a man who looked very similar and had the same distinctive tattoos. Um, so the account had 20, 301 followers. I want to get to more. Moreover, he tweeted, I just want to look at some of his commentary. It tweeted, I haven't seen the whole breakdown. Apparently the Washington Post has 2,000 tweets or 2,000 comments, fucking, why don't you give them to us already? Moreover, it tweeted, uh, he called Southern Border Migrant Detention Centers, quote, concentration camps, echoing the language, now this is speculation, echoing the language of progressive Democrat Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez. Uh, cut down the fence, slice ISIS tires, throw bull cutters over the fence. Right? So he's, he's totally... Uh, four open borders, but he's a gunslinger, and he, uh, what else? He, he likes pornographic rock and roll. So the, this is interesting, too, and I want to get more into his commentary, but uh, A-Chan was shut down. A-Chan owner Jim Witkins called to testify before Congress after the shooting. So A-Chan is where 4-Chan, A-Chan, I don't know what 4-Chan is. I think it's a different company. A-Chan is where, um, is where Q is. Q is on A-Chan, right? And all these, uh, these uh, guys seem to be posting their manifestos and their chats to A-Chan. So what's the, what does the government do? Shut it down, right? They yank their server. They yank their uh, service provider. It right? made it very difficult. So on, online message board A-Chan for... Uh, fortunes worsened on Tuesday as the site was once again made homeless by a technical service services provider and its owner was called to testify before the U.S. Congress. The House of Representatives Homeland Security Committee demanded that owner Jim Watkins, uh, an American living, in, American living in the Philippines, testify about HN's efforts to address, quote, the proliferation of extremist content, including white supremacist content. All right, so there's nothing more to really talk about there. So that's censorship. I mean, you know, it is censorship. The kid didn't post anything that was, I don't know, was, is illegal. You know, he didn't, he didn't post snuff videos of murders. He didn't, there's nothing illegal about speech is what I'm trying to talk about. There's, there's, there's trying to say, there's nothing illegal about pornographic rock bands singing about dick and pussy with a mask on. It's not, there's nothing illegal about it. It's free speech so far. So, so here he is inside the dark, dark thoughts and far left leaning of Dayton shooter, Conor Betts. And there he is. Seems like, seems like kind of a, you know, regular, definitely white, definitely, you know, fucking white. Is he Jew? I don't know. A Jew isn't white. So Dayton killer Conan, Conor Betts' online footprint provided a glimpse today into, a dark, into his dark thoughts and far-left political leanings, even as investigators worked to pin down a concrete motive. 
Quote, millennials have a message for Joe Biden's generation. Hurry up and die. That's figure of speech, right? Did he mean it literally? Well, he is a mass murderer, but did he mean it literally? Did he, does his words, hmm, hurry up and die. Did he say, I want to kill Joe Biden? No, he didn't. He said, hurry up and die. And so, again, it's, it's, it's figure of speech. How many times you go on Facebook and people say, oh, I fucking hope he chokes on a ham sandwich. I, I hope he dies. I, Trump, I hope he fucking falls down the stairs of, uh, you know, of uh, Air Force One and, and, and breaks his neck, right? People say stuff like that. They're not, it doesn't mean that it's not to be taken literally. It's not a, it's not a death threat. It's a, it's a figure of speech. The account yanked online in the wake of the early Sunday bloodbath included multiple selfies that strongly resemble a 24-year-old, uh, including he, him, anime fan, metalhead, and leftist. So he identifies himself as a leftist, a metalhead. It's capped with a dire declaration, quote, I'm going to hell and I'm not coming back. Well, that could be a heavy metal song. I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell and not coming back. I'm going. <laughs> that could be a fucking metal song. It could, be, it could be a Black Sabbath lyric. I'm going to hell and not coming back. Maybe not Black Sabbath, but somebody, you know, some dark metal band singing about uh, hell and, and, and pussy in hell. <laughs> hell pussy. Hellfire. The account fired off thousands of messages, including some supporting presidential hopeful Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. Oh, no. Now he's a Bernie. He's a Bernie bro. And Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders and sometimes violent Antifa or anti-fascist movement. Uh, So he anti-fascist movement. So he is uh, sometimes it doesn't say I want to see the message according to the Washington Post, which snagged over 3,000 of the tweets before the page was deleted. Well, fucking choke it up, Washington Post. Let's see what what it said. They include embraces of far-left stance and politicians, including Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders. All right, we just read that. Why did they say it twice? I want socialism, and I'll, I'll not wait for the idiots to finally come around to understanding. Let's see... What the gentleman thinks of, what is socialism? His idea of socialism is social programs for the people, a la Bernie Sanders, a la Elizabeth Warren. Now, in terms of, I agree with that half of it, so that makes him, his, his, policy, his thought on what he thinks of socialism is actually a very American-centrist uh, view of social programs for the people. So it doesn't necessarily, that part of it doesn't make it him a leftist. Standing on the border wanting to cut holes in the fence or the border wall, knock down the border wall, is a far left opinion. Now, to arm everybody, he says that elsewhere, arm everybody, is a far right opinion. So you see how each of these guys have a, a left, a center, and a right opinion? It's, it's a purely American opinion. So his view on guns it, he's, I mean, I, I agree with, with two out of three. I don't agree with the border stuff, but I agree with the guns, and I agree with the, the economic democratic socialism of Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. So, so he's, other quotes. Cut, cut the fences down. Slice ice's tires. Throw bolt cutters over the fence, read one of his messages. Quote, losing your personal information is a massive data breach. It's just a thing that happens now. Like 110 degree days and regular mass shootings. Another quote. So he's he's saying he's for climate change. He believes climate change is real. He, regular mass shootings are occurring. That's not nothing new. And data breaches. That would be something Q would say. You're losing your information. The deep state. So it's it's a mixed bag of ideology so far. Let's continue. So he he encourages people, buy a gun and learn to use it responsibly, it reads. You may need to protect yourself. Well, that's a right, that's a right, center right, center, center right opinion of gun control. Everybody, the the Second Amendment, right to bear arms. 
Betts' attack came only 13 hours after blah, blah, blah. See any more quotes? He shot his sister. It was crazy. Um, his girlfriend said he would cry to me sometimes. He was such a sensitive boy. The man that was so sweet to me and told me he loved me was a mass murderer, wrote uh, his, his former girlfriend. I kissed the mass murderer. So here he is in full costume, mentors. If you don't know who the mentors are, I'll show you. The, it's, not, it's not original, right? He's not the mentors. The mentors. Mentors. See, there's the mentors, right? They played in, in sheets and hoods. You know, this is the type of guy that you get at a mentors concert, right? Hoods. Black hoods, the mentors. You know, this it's a again a long history of uh a long history of this kind of music, right? It's not it's a genre or G. G. Allen. These are other players, right? These guys are all like psychopaths, you know. Fucking look at this guy. I mean, crazy. You know, this guy used to he wanted his goal was to his goal, G. G. Allen's goal was to kill himself live on stage by sticking a stick of dynamite up his ass and blowing himself up. Now, I've seen G.G. Allen perform live, and I'm telling you, there's nobody up front. Right? There's nobody, everybody is pinned to the back of the wall because he's a psychopath. He would throw shit at people. He would break glass and roll around on it. Now, is it, is it I'm not advocating the music. I'm just telling you that, that it, is a, uh, it is a phenomenon. It is a, a style of music, right? And... Should should we be should we condemn the people that that want to play rock and roll the mentors? Should we want to should you know or the kid that that uh, is in a pornographic rock band? No, we should not. So, whoo, Marcus Conti reporting on the psychology of the killer, the psychology of the killer, right? Conan Betts, I, what is going on? What is going on? So. I don't know. It's up to you. I mean, I, I think that uh, his, I, I wanted to see his political ideology. Does it justify what the kid did? No, never, never, never shooting innocent people. You know, you, you say it's the corporations that are choking us. I want socialism now. Why didn't he go in and shoot a bunch of bankers? Why did, why did they always shoot innocent people? Why did they move to the lowest hanging fruit? Why not? Why not? And again, this is not, I'm, I don't even want to say it. But why does why do they lean into the low hanging fruit, shooting kids and shooting your sister and shoot? Why don't you shoot your mother? And um, so that is the psychology of the kid. I think that um, does it does it change anything? Is he is he that different than most Americans? It, it, I mean, there is a, there is a certain anger. We need to look at the anger of people. And I say, and I have always said that it stems from abject poverty, income and wealth inequality, where there's a generation of young people out there that feel like there's no hope, that there's no possibility to live a, the American dream of a house, a career, go to college, pursue a career, get out of college and, and do that career and make money doing it. There's no, it th those things don't exist anymore. I, you can go to journalism school and good luck getting a journalism job. You have to do what I do. You fucking just get a YouTube channel and you start talking out of the side of your head, right? That's how you do it. Right? That's the now the new version of journalism, right? You don't need a, a, a career, you know, a degree to, to do that thing. So, so uh, you know, what's your opinion on the, um, the psychology of the uh, killer, right? The, the other killer, right? We saw the manifesto by the... Uh, by the uh, the Texas, El Paso, Texas kid. Now we got the a little bit more of the MO of the Dayton, Ohio killer. It's kind of starting to come out. We'll never hear his voice because he's dead. Marcus Conti reporting.